In RPG Builder 2.0, I introduced something called templates. As you can imagine, these are things that we create once and reuse many, many times in many different places. For things such as particle effects, animations, sound, but also more complicated things such as requirements as well as game actions, all of these things can be created and now drag and drop or selected in the database and interact with pretty much your entire game design. We also have things for like weapon transform. So um, these are, for example, if you had a human race and a goblin race, they could equip the same weapons, right? But the weapons would look weird if they had the same size, right? They would most likely be smaller if they were um, equipped by a goblin. So in this case, with these things, you can have a uh, completely custom transform values for your weapons. So your weapons can have custom scale, rotation, and position based on the race and the gender of the player equipping it. Here we have body cooling, which is uh, something that's really, really useful in 2.0. It's new also, um, allowing you to define pretty much any body part to be hidden whenever a specific armor piece is equipped. So for example, let's say a helmet should not hide the hair, but it should hide the beard. You can do that. You will make something like, um, you would pick a race here, of course, because again, that's also based on races and gender. So not only you have full freedom on what is hidden or visible, but it's also for each race and gender. And here, for example, for the male, we would say that this helmet will not uh, hide the arms, but let's say um, the hair but not the beard. And another one, another helmet could, uh, you know, do the same thing, but beard and hair this time. So that's really cool. And the way you assign those, for example, if you go here, if we go to the cloth pants here, you can see that we have a uh, template assigned in this one, in this case, hide legs and underwear. So if I go back to uh, body cooling here, add hide legs and underwear. In this case, it means that this pants as an armor piece will hide both the legs and the underwear. If the character model you use do not have a need to uh, hide body part, that's completely fine. This is just here when you need it. Next, we have the stat list one. In this case, it's very useful when, uh, let me show you. If we go to NPCs, for example, and here you see we have the stats section, you might not want to be manually adding all those stats every time, right? So in this case, uh, you could create a stat list template, for example, with strength, health, armor, extra. You could save it and then you can just drag and drop it or select it in your NPC. And you can even then modify it after that. So you could have one template used by like a hundred NPCs and you can then override or like modify this template for this NPC only once you're uh, looking at the NPC. So that's really useful. And lastly, this is not a new system. The regions are now templates. So this already existed before 2.0, but they were stored um, in game scenes directly. They are no longer here. Now in game scenes, you only have the uh, default one. And if we go to the region here, you see that we have all the settings from before, but saved as templates, meaning you can now reuse those regions easily between scenes. And uh, yeah, it's just a lot better and uh, a lot more modular. So I hope you like this system and let me know uh, which one are you the most excited for. And uh, I'm going to um, make, like I said, detailed video on each of those later.